Hi guys, today we are going to see is the traffic monitoring system for smart cities. So this is our proposed system abstract. So we have rules to govern traffic to ensure a smooth movement of traffic. And we have implemented a system which measures the number of vehicles and also checks for a speed limit violation. So our proposed system will achieve the accuracy of 98.96 percentage for vehicle count detection and an accuracy of 98.14 percentage for speed violation detection. So whenever uh, like our total duration of frames the vehicle took to cross the references lines, we determine the speed and hence the possibility of traffic violation. So here idea pro regarding the traffic in any area of interest we can propose our system to use. Our main objective is to follow the rules and regulations uh, to regular traffic cop monitoring the vehicles and also greater scope for automation. So here computer vision is uh, takes place as a main part of our proposed system. So we, we made an attempt to account vehicles and detect speed violation. So counting the number of vehicles also provides extra information regarding the traffic in the respective areas. This is, this is our introduction slide. So here uh, monitoring is done by using Raspberry Pi board and also we have some other cases radar guns are used but these guns cannot target short range and multiple vehicles. Instead of regular monitoring we can use a cameras to improve the efficiency and decrease the dependence of humans. So existing system, existing system used a color used as a parameterized vehicle model for a intra frame match matching strategy. So next approach also known as a region based tracking using the technique to identify connected regions in the image associated with each vehicle and tracks them. So existing system disadvantages no camera based signal detection, no speed violation detection and then no indicator with controller applications. Our proposed system will be able to detect the uh, speed violation and also counting of that particular vehicles. So here uh, overhead of installing cameras at the region of interest, investment and more durable than passive sensors used to determine the density of the land because sensors get de deteriorated as they are directly installed onto the pavements. Advantages of our proposed system is a discriminative power and low computational cost and camera gives the system great installation flexibility and increase the durability, efficiency and profitability of the system. So software requirements we need the following software such as a Raspbian OS, Python programming language, hardware requirements we use the following hardware in our proposed system such as a Raspberry Pi, Pi camera, SD card, VGA cable, HDMI to VGA converter, keyboard mouse. So this is our proposed system black diagram. So we will feed the live streaming or any other video feed to our Pi camera then it will capture the frames and then each frame we will count the that speed of that particular vehicle to cross their lands and also traffic violation. So it will be give the output through the output screen. So this is our Raspberry Pi connection to uh, monitor via HDMI to VGA cable and also we use a micro USB for power supply purpose. SD card is used for Raspbian OS dumping and we are using a keyboard and mouse for accessing the Raspberry Pi desktop. So working model will be separated as the four categories such as a pre-processing unit, vehicle count detection and speed estimation, speed violation detection adapting to various lightning conditions. So these are the four steps determining the background for reference lines and also speed estimation we are going to calculate and then speed estimation we are uh, uh, calculated in second time. So here speed violation detection in fourth frame. So whenever it's uh, across the or nearest to, to the uh, that particular land. So this is our workflow. So here uh, frame will be read after that reference line for each line will be detected. Then uh, RGB value like RGB value will be converted into grayscale. If pixel is, pixels is the uh, same initial then increment the vehicle count otherwise it will be uh, not increment the vehicle count. So OpenCV we mainly use the OpenCV library in our proposed system. So embedded systems this is the example uh, like sample of embedded system we are uh, uh, see any other microcontroller based or single task based applications we can use the microcontrollers. 
So Raspberry Pi, this is our uh, proposal system, controller, processor. So Pi camera, we are using a live streaming video or image processing projects. We can choose Pi camera. This is a power supply unit having an uh, uh, like uh, adapter or any other devices having a step down transformer, AC to DC converter and then voltage regulators. So Raspbian OS, we are using a Raspbian OS in our proposed system. Uh, like our proposed system, uh, Raspberry Pi will having handle the in every uh, like codings or any other applications through to this Raspbian OS. It's a unique Unix family is a, a Linux based one. So it's having a four different installation options, a live, full and then buster and then Raspberry Pi OS. So Python programming language is a mainly uh, like used in every applications or like artificial intelligence. So our proposed system also using a Python programming language. So applications, goods and logistics, hospitals and industrial sectors, AI based vehicles. So this is our feature work. We can use zebra line detection and speed systems goes to it will uh, detect the zebra line detection and it will stop the vehicle and also speed violation like if the 40 kilometer or school zone or stop board or any other restricted areas will be uh, images will be detected then vehicles uh, speed will be automatically down. The designer systems should have the good efficiency and less weight compared to the world war. This is our conclusion part. We can achieve the better and best accuracy such as a 98.96% for vehicle code, 98.14% for speed violation. So here uh, exact top view of LAN is obtained. It was also observed the accuracy of the results could be improved by using higher frame rate and better quality of the surveillance video. So our uh, application will be satisfied in real applications and our method could give good precious results. This is our reference line. So that's all. Thank you.